I have two, and that's a wheel. Uh, okay, you filming? Okay, la 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 la. Okay, good. Hi. Kayla and Build Tech, right? Yes. Okay. Hello, Maker Fair people. Again, it's Joel, and I'm at the Build Tech booth. I love Build Tech. And with me is Kayla. Hi, Kayla. Hi, Joel. Hi, everybody. Oh, sorry, I pulled it away too fast. Oh, God. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? The, uh, the Build Tech stuff I use, I use it a lot, and I really like it. How did, how did Build Tech come about? So Build Tech came about because our boss basically wanted to tinker and had the same problem that everybody else did, which was adhesion. So he went in the back, made a solution, and everybody loved it, and Build Tech was born. That's so awesome. How, how is it doing in the market? Does it, does it sell well? It's doing pretty well. We get a lot of people that love it a lot, and sales are up this year, so we're happy. That's awesome. You also have a spatula, right? Tell me a little bit about that. Yes. So our spatula is this guy right here. It came onto the market this fall. We're very excited about it. it took us about a year to develop the handle, especially. And yeah, um, we're excited about it. One of the things I was curious about, because I have this spatula, and it doesn't quite get under parts. It seems like this piece is too thick. Is there any chance you could revise that? So, unfortunately, no. We have it at 0.3 millimeters for a reason, because any thinner, it's technically a weapon, and we cannot sell it. Our attorneys won't let us. So, unfortunately, if you need to make it any thinner, you'll have to do it on your own, and we're not liable. So, Do you have any problems taking that on the airplane? Uh, I have a lot of problems taking that on the airplane. TSA hates me. Um, they get very, very mad at me all the time, so I don't take it. I have photos on my phone of it, and I have a video online, so... Yes, TSA is not my friend. I'm sorry. Well, TSA, I don't think it's anybody's friend, really. Yeah, they especially hate me, though, so it's okay. With the build tax system, is there any innovations that are coming out, or is there anything cool that you can tell us that, that's been working? Yes, if you step two inches that way, you can see our new flex plate system is coming out. We're very excited about it. So basically, you'll be able to attach your build tax to a piece of flexible steel and then pop your prints right off. And we're looking forward to it. It should be out within the next two months. So wow. Website, check Twitter. We'll advertise there. OK, I'm going to buy a lot of that. You know that, right? Yes, I do. I know that. And we attach it through a magnetic mounting base, which you could direct the camera down this way. You can see. There you go. Wait. OK, it doesn't move. That's, that's on there tight. And then you can just pull it off, pop your prints right off. We're trying to make it as easy as possible for everybody. So yeah, look out for it. Wow. OK, well, that's cool. Final question okay. then, being this, because I'm, I'm 3D printing focused, right? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Do you have your own printer? Do I? No. Unfortunately, I don't. But conveniently, I work for a company, and we have eight in our office. So I get to play with all of those. Oh, good. Well, then I can do this follow-up question. What is your favorite model to print? My favorite model to print? Yeah. Anything with dinosaurs. Really? Yes. Anything with dinosaurs. That's fantastic. I love dinosaurs! I printed a T-Rex for my birthday. It was really exciting. That's pretty cool. Okay. Well, thank you for this interview, Kayla. I appreciate it. Thanks for showing us the cool build tech stuff. Let's seal it with a high five. Obviously. Thank you. Yeah. Was that fun? Yeah. Okay. I hope I didn't sound too nerdy. You didn't sound too nerdy at all. <laughs>